You got a, do you join you? So, well, I got everything all fixed up on this one. For those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, um, this is the latest project that just been completed because I fucked up. It was done two days ago, but while trying to burn the core, I saw this one little spot that was like slight fray, so I tried to burn it to smooth it in. And well, next time when I do this, remind me to use a lighter instead of a torch. <laughs> so I actually burned it up and well, got it repaired and so it's finally completed. I had some of you guys ask me, what's it called? Uh, good question. There can be, you can name whatever you want. War club, uh, recreational paddle stick, rowing. <laughs> But it's for me, this is a uh, Teba Teba from the Maori. It's a Maori weaponry, which is ironically when I was talking with my father out back home, uh, they were all telling me, mate, you got it like wrong way because the grip's supposed to. So Teba Teba, how you use it, um, it's not actually blade side, but I. That's the weirdest thing, I. It's a conflicting argument because two of my found out about Maoris when I asked them how the hell this is supposed to work, they were all, my brothers were telling me that it actually was more of a signaling tool than actually used for warfare, but when during warfare they actually use, not the bladed side. I don't know, maybe they're just joking around with me on that shit, but um, I'll ask them when I get back home to Altair a lot later down the road. But what's it for? It's perfect for home defense, uh, especially right now. Obviously, you can't even see this because, well, you get in a whole lot of hot water if you do use it in a jurisdiction where you're not permitted to carry a bludgeon. And many city ordinances actually have a ruling that prevents you from carrying any type of impact weapons or defensive tools that are specifically bludgeons like billy club, batons, yada, yada, and so on, unless you're in law enforcement or security personnel that is authorized with qualification. Now, Tepa Tepa, uh, we'll call this G Innovations Tepa Tepa for short. Just Tepa Tepa, beauty of this is it works great for the following. If I was using this for Lambaton, it is absolutely devastating. I mean, I would not want to get hit by the blade. There is a wooden blade, as you can see. That's on the top two, which is like, oh my god, could you imagine? It's like, put this right on some. Yeah, I know, I'm getting a little bit evil here. <laughs> Sorry about that. But Jesus Christ. Now, when the blade makes contact on point of impact on any bone, it will break bone. And this actually has a quite a bit of heft to it. And because of that, it is a perfect defensive tool. You don't need much strength to it. I mean, even just a light single strike to the kneecap, oh my god. However, because it is a heavier tool, two-handed FFS Dose Models application with this, it is highly recommended. Imagine this, you have some idiot who's coming at you full swinging with any type of impact weapon or blade like Ray has demonstrated with the shillelaghs. Imagine if you deflect and whack someone dead center using the blade like this. Oh, deflection. Just this and that solid impact. That is a gunner. I don't care how strong you are, but once this makes contact with your bone, it'll break it. If it makes contact with any type of muscle fiber or tissues, it'll mush it. Freaking deadly. And even in close quarters, one of the things that I was working with this prior to making this mistake, which is not that bad. Now it's done and almost acts as a kind of an indexing point for my thumb, so I know where to actually position. If I'm gripping this like there, I know exactly where to stop and not travel all the way up. Now with this, I would generally probably start it out right about here and use fair bearing. And oh God, the switching of the power, if I whack someone in the rib cage to kind of get him to have that reaction. That strike up with the upward with the blade to the chin or the neck. Lifting that up and the transitioning of power from here from top to bottom. Ooh. For those of you who never played around with Sledgehammer, <laughs> you really need to give this a go. <laughs> so there you go guys. It's complete. Uh, it 
it will make someone extremely happy yeah especially if you need if you need a good home defense tool and if you're in a jurisdiction where you can't have a firearm this will be what i would recommend just one hit with this especially because it is the difference between having this versus a baseball bat or any tool that doesn't really have like that's just a regular round stick is with a blade it causes such a devastation when it makes contact with the bone it'll break it thus making the situation that's typical much easier all right thank you for watching I want to share this with you guys all you guys have a wonderful day